Lots of woody plants are not pruned on a regular basis, and one of the main reasons is fear. People are afraid to do something wrong to the plant. I'd like to take a few minutes now and look at the various reasons people have given me for not pruning their plants. People are afraid that they'll just take too much of the material off the plant, and somehow that will harm the plant. The reason for this fear is that they don't have a clear goal in mind. If they knew exactly why they were pruning, and what they wanted to accomplish with the pruning, they would never cut too much, because they would only be cutting the right amount to meet their goals. Some people are afraid that by pruning, they'll kill the plant. Well, I have good news for you. It's virtually impossible to kill a woody plant by pruning. As far as shrubs go, you can cut them right to the ground and they will grow back. Trees are a little different. You could cut off all of the branches on the tree and it'll just grow new branches. It won't kill the plant. If you cut the trunk off, some trees might die, but many of the deciduous ones will just grow back. Evergreens are different. If you cut them off at ground level, they will die. But it's very hard to kill a tree or a shrub by pruning. In this course, I'll teach you how to prune in a step-by-step -step process. You'll first analyze the plant and figure out what you want to accomplish with your pruning. Then you'll make one cut and then reevaluate the plant. Have another look at it. See what needs to be done next. Then you'll go in and make the next cut. This is a slow iterative type of process. At any point in it, you can stop. So it's highly unlikely that you'll create an ugly plant because removing one branch isn't going to do that. Some people worry about using the right tool when they go to prune. There are lots of options. There's shears, there's loppers, there's saws. Which one is the right one to use for a particular cut? Well, the good news is that it doesn't really matter. Most of those will do the job just fine. But there are some rules to make your job easier. And we'll go over those in the course. Once you learn that, you'll know exactly which tool to use for a particular cut. Another big concern people have is when do you prune? Should you be pruning in fall, during the winter, early spring, middle summer? What is the best time? And if you prune at the wrong time, will it harm the plant? The good news is that you can prune almost any time of the year and you're not going to harm the plant. But there are some better times to prune. You might be familiar with the advice that you should prune spring flowering shrubs after they flower and late flowering shrubs you should prune in early spring. And that's a good rule. That rule though is made for people. It provides the largest amount of flowers and people like flowers so that's why we prune that way. As far as the shrub is concerned it doesn't really care too much when you prune it. There are some better times and the best time to prune all shrubs really is late winter and early spring. Now there's a simple rule and if you follow that then you won't have a fear of pruning at the wrong time. In the course, we'll look at this in more detail because there are some special cases and reasons why you might prune at different times of the year. We've now looked at several reasons why people are afraid of pruning and I hope you feel a little better about the whole process now. As we go through the course and you learn more and more about the pruning process and how it affects plants, you will start feeling much better about doing your own pruning. By the end of the course, you'll be able to walk up to any shrub or tree and you'll be able to prune with full confidence. I'd like to present a couple rules of thumb for pruning and these apply pretty much all of the time. Rule number one, don't cut unless you know exactly why you're cutting. This is a pretty simple rule. What it's saying is only prune when you have a clear goal in mind. When you know why you're pruning and how you're going to make the cut. If you don't know those things, step back and don't prune. If you follow this rule, you'll never fear pruning again because you'll never make another mistake. My second rule of pruning is just as simple. You don't have to prune. A lot of people feel obligated to go out in the garden every spring and cut something. That approach to pruning is never going to work. If you're standing in front of a tree or shrub and you can't find a good reason for pruning, don't prune. 
Many plants are fine on their own and they just don't need regular pruning and some never get pruned. My third rule is a lot harder to follow and this rule is understand your plants. If you understand how the plant grows, when it buds, where it buds, how buds develop, pruning becomes so much easier. The more you know about your plant, the easier it is to prune it. The problem is learning about your plant is kind of difficult. I don't know which plants you have and they are all a little different. So what I've done in this course is I've added a whole chapter to help you learn about plant growth. I've also created a series of exercises that will help you to get to know the plants in your garden. Once you've gone through those exercises, you'll understand how each of the specific plants you have grows. And that will tell you a lot about how and when to prune it. Keep in mind that the way a plant grows is determined by its genetics. We can't change that. Each plant will grow at a certain speed, in a certain direction, have a certain width, it'll have a certain height. All we can do with pruning is help the plant to look its best.